Hello everybody, my name is Tamilola Mike Pamiloye and I'm here to encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can receive notifications and updates on new movies that will be dropping from time to time. So if you subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing and if you're not, please subscribe. Lauren Bomber say, A me no lo lewe. Ah, who lewe me? A me no me la back and one lo lewe. Hey, who am I say, Bo? Who am I was a co? Who am I need a boy are rude? Mm -mm. There could not so. The boy are rude. Who am I cock the boy ever done? One more sacco. One more bessie by. One more sacco. One more bessie by. One more giddy. One more giddy. One more giddy by. Ah. Baba mi, o dupe lowo re o se o dupe nitori eyin na e je won mo e je won mo pe ko si ni kan lemu yin o e je won mo pe 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 apo yin o ni gbe owo yin mo ro ke gbogbo gba ha mi na mi lo le ewe mi la ba ke won lo le ewe hey won ma ri bayi won ma se bayi won mo se bayi won ma gedi won ma gedi ah won gba gba ba don ah baba mi olohun o ba nda yin si akonde Kilosia, Kenny, Parabale,
no child to call my own. Sweetheart, it's seven years. It's six. I say seven. Six. It's seven. Six. It's seven. Six. Seven years, Pastor. Listen, listen. Whether it's seven or whether it's six, that's not the issue. It is. We fasted and prayed. But God seems to be silent about this matter. No, oh, my sister. Oh. Delay is not denial. It's not a denial, I know. We've had thousands of messages, but none of them has changed a thing. It is not those messages that will change anything. It's your faith that will change everything. Hello? I'm quite busy now. Can't it wait? Ah, okay, okay, okay. I'll be with you, I'll be with you. Excuse me, I have to attend to something very, very urgent. I'll be with you. You were supposed to be crying with me. Look here, your pretentious cry won't bring us any child. Do you think I'm happy? Well, I'm not happy too. Then act as sort. Why do you want me to cry? Because when a woman cries, it does not change a thing. But when a man cries, it changes everything. It shows we are not serious. We are sitting before a man of God, for goodness sake. He knows when we are pretending, he's sensitive in the spirit. That he should be sensitive enough to know that we need a child badly. I'm not an actor. I don't know how to fake any cry. Then no one is going to prepare your meal tonight. Don't think you can threaten me with food. I did this last in my GSS too, for goodness sake. You have no choice. Huh? Just let him come in and pray for us, so that we can get out of here. <laughs> Oh no, Pastor, he's right. We can't take this anymore. I have become a source of reproach to my family. We are tired of waiting, Pastor. I am weary. I am tired. We are tired. Seven years without an issue, Pastor. This is a serious issue. And that is why we've decided to adopt a child. Yes, that is why. What? Pending when God provides us. My dear, stop that crying. We didn't discuss that before coming here. I've been thinking about it, but I don't know how to tell you. So, here and now is the best time to tell me. Do you okay? Uh, look, it seems the two of you are not for the meeting. Look, I have better things to do, right? Let's just pray. Okay? Shall we pray? Yeah? Father, I just come this couple of your hands. The Lord wants you to intervene in their situation in Jesus. How is your dad? He's fine, extend his greetings. Are you tired of a father like his? He can be your father if you accept him. How? Close your eyes, speak to him, and believe he's hearing you. Alright. When I close my eyes, I see nothing. When I close my eyes, I see nothing. But he hears my word, and I believe in his word. How? Follow the Bible, like you were speaking to me right before you came. What did he tell you? It's a secret. Please tell me, I won't tell anyone. I promise. Yeah, I do. Daddy told me he's coming to get me out of here very, very soon. Ah! Hmm. How soon? Very, very soon. Will you take me along with you? No. 
Why? Daddy did not tell me to. Priscilla! Is that the trash you feed your friends? Now come. In my 15 years of staying here, I've never seen anyone adopt a child like you. So prepare to live the better part of your life here, okay? Is that not what my father told me? <coughs> Why'd you slap me? To snap you out of your fantasy. Now, you don't have a father. I do. <laughs> you don't. I do. The father you have never spoken to. The father I speak to every day. We need to take you to a psychiatric hospital. You have a mental challenge. Let's see how your father will get you out. Ooh. Good morning, sweetheart. How oh, I wish I could brighten your day with a cup of tea, but you know the clowns I told you about now? The ones coming from England? Yeah. They are already on their way to the restaurant, you know, I, and I just have to be there on time. Sign of a responsible manager. Yeah, that's your husband. <laughs> I thought we have an appointment at the orphanage. Jimmy, Jimmy, you settled this last night. And you said it's okay to adopt a child. Oh, yes. But you have to go alone. What? We need to be there together. Seizu. Look. Darlene. Look, I trust you. I trust your heart. Just adopt anyone your heart clicks with. I'm okay with it. That's my sweetheart. Dad asked after you. He called yesterday. What's wrong with this tie? You heard what I said. I, hmm? Yes. How is Dad? Fine. Perfect. You know, sweetheart, each time you talk about your parents, I feel so sad. How I wish mine were still alive. You know, it's not easy to be alone. Ah, you're not alone, sweetheart. I'm with you. Thank you so much, sweetheart. I'll be always lovely. How is your family? How is everything? Good morning. Lawrence, how are you? Ah, ah. Jimmy. Now, what, what is wrong with your friend? Ah. Jimmy. Ah.
Why are you always pulling that stunt? Why? Why are you jealous of me? Why do you always come to work in expensive suits? Why? Do you have any problem with that? No. I don't have any problems with that. But I have problems with your insincerity. Now, your wife believes that you are a manager when you are an ordinary cleaner. Open up to her and tell her your problems so that she can be praying for you. Well, that's what I do. That's why you're still here. Huh? Mm. What did you just say? Nothing. My wife works in the bank and I work as a cleaner in the restaurant. Does that sound sensible to you? I'm just holding on to this one, pending the time I get a real job. Uh -huh. That reminds me, you said you were going to help me to check on the radio stations. Any vacancies yet? Um, yes, there is. Great, really? But I don't think you are qualified. Why? You came out with um, a second class upper yeah. in mass communication. Yeah. And you're a master's holder. You have um, very impressive qualifications. Yeah. I am a very good radio presenter. I mm. promise you, you will fall in love with me. <laughs> I'm married. I was only joking. It's just a simple jest. A few years back, I was an intern at the Oriental radio station. I once presented for Shout It Out. I once presented for Economic Realities. And I once presented for Redemar's Choice. Mm. Mm. And once, I never heard you. How often do you listen to the Oriental radio station? Once. Once a day, week, month. <sighs> Life. Life? That's bad. As a media person, you ought to be conversant with other radio stations. Don't just bury your head in one basket. And you know, this is one of the ethics of journalism. Your services will not be needed, Mr. Jimmy Bimuru. I beg your pardon? You can now leave. Interview over. I'm done with you. Get out. What? Out! I see some other children. And even those ones you saw, they just brought them yesterday. And it's like you find it difficult to make your choice. We can even help you to choose. You know? I've seen them all. My son is not here. Sorry for wasting your time. Mm -hmm. But we still have another child. There's another child. Uh, forget yeah. about that one. No, don't forget about him. He's a 10-year-old boy. You can come and take a look at him. My dear, I personally advise you to look elsewhere. Don't waste your time. But he's everything you will need in his son. The boy is retarded. He has meta challenges. Stop. Just stop. You both are driving me crazy. <laughs> But wait, you are not the one adopting a child. Let the woman see the boy. What's the name? Emmanuel. So, what do you think? That's my son. Oh. Who? This? Yes, that.
Please don't forget to tell your father that there are many forgotten children here who are waiting for parents to love and adopt them. Priscilla, it's also your dad. If you talk to him, he will answer you. I'm missing. I miss it too. Thanks for introducing me to your friend. Mano, why are you inside the car? It's so dear to us. Anytime you notice any problem, just call us. Okay. of you as the manager. That's your daddy. Surprise! Hey, what's it? Our baby's home. Wow, my baby is home. Hey, now tell me, what does it look like? You or me? You won't believe it. I see so much of you. <laughs> wow, my baby is home. Now, let me close the light. Okay. Thank you. I can't wait. What is this? That's our son. That's your son, not my son. But we agreed on this together. What are you thinking? Sweetheart, what we need is a baby, not another husband in the house. What happened to the baby's dear? If you followed me, all these arguments would have been avoided. Where on earth have you ever had people giving back to a 12 years old son? He's 10 years. He's not presentable. You said I should go with whomever my heart clicked with. Well, Jimmy, there he is. He's nothing to write home about. Oh, he doesn't even have a home. We are returning that boy first thing tomorrow morning. Never! Jimmy, deal with it. That's our son. That's your son, not my son. You said you see much of him in me. What in me do you see in that wretched thing? You're both orphans. Hey, point of correction. I am not an orphan. You have no father. Neither do you have a mother. What does that make you? I am not an orphan. If someone had rejected you, how would you be the manager that you are today? The main fact that I don't have parents does not make me an orphan. So what are you? Hey, look, I will not spend quality time answering ridiculous questions. I am not an orphan.
We will get back to you. You will get back to me? Yes, we will get back to you, sir. How old are you? I would... I'm 24. Why do you ask? Well... Well, I am 34. Oh, that's good. That's, that's very good. Now, if you excuse me, I have something important to get back to. And ever since you clocked 14, I have been looking for a job. And I know exactly what it means. When people tell me, we will get back to you. So, if you cannot look me up straight in the eyes and tell me that my service is not needed there, you are a coward. Now, Mr. Jimmy, if you don't respect yourself, I will call the securities at you. So please respect yourself. I have a family back home. I have a wife and I have an orphan to take care of. And all what you have to tell me is that we will get back to you. Hello? Is that Mr. Okafo? Please, you are needed here. Or oh, gently, please. You don't need to call the security. I'm leaving anyway. With your attitude, you can never get a job. And with your attitude, I can throw this chair on you. Go and ask my wife. She will tell you I am not normal. Is it because you are in suit or because they gave you a table and a chair to practice A to Z and you think you can boss me around anyhow? I can beat you up like the orphan in my house. Nonsense! Please leave. I'm telling you to leave right now. Mr. Okafor, thank you very much. Okay, why you didn't make noise yet? Get Shut up! Go ahead! At the age of 24, you still look popped up like an abifa. Okay, you don't know anything! Out. Get your hands off me! Mr. Okafor or whatsoever they call your name! Oga okay, will carry you. Look! I will beat you up, Mr. Okafor. Okay, look at your kept here. Look at what you look like. Okay, you look like an head. Who the hell do you think you are? Okay, I'm gonna carry you. Just look. Come on, I will beat you up. Look. Out. Work today. Fine. Come and see what Emmanuel memorized today. Who is Emma? What? Oh my God! You mean you have not disposed that thing? Why do you hate him so much? I don't hate him. I just don't like the idea that he's my son. The boy admires you. He acts after you every time you're away. I don't care. Well, he memorized a whole chapter of the Bible. And I am not interested. He's waiting for you to hear him. What will it take you to just sit down and listen? I had a hectic day. Please, for my sake. Do not hide your face from me. Do not throw your servant away in anger. For you have been my helper. Do not reject me or forsake me. Oh God, my Savior. Do my father and mother forsake me. The Lord will 
receive me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where on earth did they forsake you in the first place? Jimmy! What? Why can't I ask a simple question? Of all the children your parents gave birth to, why did they forsake you? What did you do? These are the questions you should be asking yourself instead of deceiving yourself with scriptural references. That's a stupid thing you just said. I can't believe what you're saying. I can say whatsoever I like in my house. For God's sake, this is our son. For God's sake, he's not my damn son! Tonight. What do you mean I should leave you alone tonight? The hot Emmanuel. You want to deprive me of my God's giving right because of an ordinary orphan? Because of our son. Look, don't drag me to pastor's office tomorrow morning and tell me to start shedding some crocodile tears. Why won't we remain barren when we will not back up our faith with actions? Where are you going? To apologize to your son if that would bring show tonight. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Naturally, you are not a good looking kid. But each time you cry, it brings out the monster in you. So stop crying. Manuel, stop crying. I think you should go to bed now. You should sleep now. I hope you are now satisfied and now we can sleep. This for you, Dad. I am not your dad. Then who is my dad? Remember, you are forsaken, but the Lord will receive you. Hmm? What's this? See, I made it for you. Get your cow piece off my table. What's the meaning of busted? The past tense of bust. bust. The past tense of bust is bust. Shut up! Emmanuel, or whatsoever they call your name. Unlike you, I went to a good school. So take your cow piece and get out of this place. Nonsense. Emmanuel! Take these clothes inside you.
Yes, sweetheart. Hello, sweetheart. Please, I just want to confirm something from you. What's the process of bust? 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 Yes, bust. Not busted. <laughs> Which school did you even go to, Mr. Jimmy? Thanks. Wait! What? You're not using a dictionary. No. And you're writing the speech for the interview. Yes. Success in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks, dear. My office, of course. Why are you asking? I'm at the place of interview. What happened? I, I forgot my reference number. Your reference number? Yes. Oh, God. I must quote it before the panel, before the interview commences. So what are you going to do now? Is it your turn yet? Almost. Call Emmanuel. What? Yes, call Emmanuel. Emmanuel is at home. Tell him to get it for you. I hope he answers me. You are coming in the next three minutes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Hello, Emmanuel, remember the notes you saw me writing yesterday? Yes. On top of the note is a reference number. I want you to go into my room now and I want you to read the number to me. Yes, sir. Have you found it? Yes, sir. The number is NW56. FG78. Oh, 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 it's, read it slowly, slowly. I, I'm, I'm writing. MW-56FJ8L. I got it, thank you. You're welcome, sir. That's my boy. Next. Okay. Uh, Mr. Jimmy? Do you know the job you're applying for? Yes, sir. Um, what is it? Public Relations Manager. Yes. It is a big deal. We are not necessarily looking for the best. But a convincing speech. A speech that can change the orientation and the mindset of the people about our product. I hope you know what I'm saying. Yes, I know, sir. Good. Mr. Jimmy, uh, could you give me your reference number? NWU slash 156 FG 78 slash 2378L. Mr. Jimmy, you are married? Yes, sir, for seven years. With children? Mr. Jimmy, do you have children? Yes, a 10-year-old boy. 
I thought you said you've been married for seven years. An adopted son, sir. Really? Yes, sir. You adopted a son? I'm an adopted son also. I'm an orphan. I never knew my parents. I lived in an orphanage till one day a man came along and adopted me. My foster parents trained me to be who I am today. How is the boy doing? He's doing very well, sir. Well, Mr. Jimmy, you may proceed with your presentation. your husband. You told me he has an interview. Yes. He said he's going to call me back to tell me how it went. I really pray he gets the job. But why does he really want to quit? I thought he's the manager there. He's not too happy as a restaurant manager. He wants something better, something bigger. I hope he finds it. I yeah. really pray he does. Mm. Hello, sweetheart. Hey. Did you get the job? I don't know yet. Everything went on fine. Emmanuel saved me. The orphan you rejected. Yeah, I owe him big time. Okay. I was scared. Is that not your husband? The whole scene was funny. Hello? Hello, Jimmy? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Jimmy? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Jimmy? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Jimmy, where are you? I'm in my office. Why? What are you doing in your office? I'm actually working on some document that will be sent to England tomorrow morning. Why did you ask me? Because you're a liar. Right, this is 
this me? <laughs> I cannot live with a man. <laughs> I don't know you! <laughs> I am not okay. I call myself a Christian. But I have a big insurmountable problem. What is it? I don't know, really. But I think I need help. People seem not to be on my side. My life has been so miserable. <laughs> God has <have> deserted me. <laughs> There's nothing worthwhile I'm living for. <laughs> the more I try to build the best home, <laughs> the more I fail. <laughs> the cleaner I know is better than the manager I don't know. Do me. Just check out this word, Jason. Oh, uh huh? Like Jimmy. How do you come up with these words? It's nice to see you play with me. And what happened to mom? She was crying all day. You people are not talking. The house is boring. Why? Everything is just going to be okay. I'll get a good job. And I'll be a good father and a husband. Like my father? Excuse me. You'll be a good father like my father. You don't have a father. I do. How come I've not seen your father before? I've not seen your own father too. My father was a chief in the village before his death. My own father is a king. And he's living. How come your so-called king and father abandoned you in the orphanage? Why did God abandon Jesus enough? Study your Bible very well. Jesus was sent to the earth for a purpose. Exactly. You studied me well. I was sent to the orphanage for a purpose. Good afternoon, madam. Afternoon. Uh, please, is Jimmy at home? Ah, uh, well, I have a letter for him. I would have waited for him, but uh, I have something quickly to attend to. From who? From his father. His father? Which father? <laughs> What's going on here? If you can't tell me everything about yourself, I am not ready to live with you. I can't take it anymore. I can't take it anymore. What are you talking about? We've been together for seven years. Yes, seven years of lies and falsehood. I don't know you. Jumi, is it because of my job? Because I lied to you, I was the manager instead of a cleaner. But I said I was sorry, Jumi. I'm so sorry. When will all this lie stop? He is sick. The man is sick. Who? Your father. My father? Yes, your father. You told me your father was dead. You told me you have no father. How can the dead write letters? How can the dead claim to be sick? 
How can the dead call for your attention? <laughs> Liar! <laughs> Liar! <laughs> Wait, wait, Jumi, Don't, Jumi, just listen to me, Jumi, back. Jumi, Jumi, leave wait, this bag. Jumi, we can't just leave this days. Wait, leave this bag. Wait. Just leave this listen bag. to me. Wait, yeah, yeah, leave this bag. Wait, leave this bag. Wait, I said, come on. When a man refuses to commit his ways unto the hands of the Lord, he will end up struggling and he will come back to zero point. When a man decides to apply the wisdom of this world to his daily living, he ends up chasing the shadows. But when a man submits himself to the will, purpose, and counsel of God for his life, he will make a way. Jacob was a liar and a deceiver like you. But when he discovered that all his struggles, he ended up in the zero point. He had to take his struggles to God. And God asked him a question, which I'm going to ask you today. Who are you? What is your name? My, my name is Akonde Oguni. I am the holy child of my parents. My father had a servant girl. He loved and treats like his own daughter. And her name is Labake. Labake? Oh, by me. Oh, 
Aussi. Comment c'est Ah ah. Ah ah. Ah ah. Baba mi, on ne peut pas le faire. 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 On ne peut pas le faire.
I ran away from home. <laughs> and I lost my family. <laughs> I lost my father. <laughs> Walking in darkness, and he does not allow the light of Jesus Christ to shine on his path, he will stumble. How do you mean? You hid the rotting past of your life in the darkest closet of your life. As long as you hide the rotting part of your life away from the Lord Jesus Christ, you will never make a headway. We keep going around the circle. And anyone that follows the pattern of this world, we keep going around the circle and we still come back to the same place where it began. The world goes around the circle and anyone that follows the pattern of the world will end up in a zero point. Jacob realized this. That was why he mentioned his name to God. You see, you can hide your sins from man, but definitely not from the Lord Jesus Christ. What do I do? <laughs> Open up your filthy past which you locked in the city part of your heart. Expose it to the light of the Lord Jesus Christ. Go back to the cross. This time, expose all your filthy past to him. Lay it to the foot of the cross and it will cleanse you from all uncleanness and filthiness. The prodigal son, when he left the confines of his father, he could not achieve anything. But when he came back and he repented, he was forgiven and accepted. Oh God.
Mami. Akande. Ah, akande. Akande oko mi. Mami. Ah, Jesus ba mo wa. Mami. Show, show, Jesus. Mami. Mami. Come on. Show, Jesus. Mami. Show, Jesus. Show. I want to stand up. Baba, can I am Emma <laughs> 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 Mama, get up today. Emma, 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 Look into my eyes. Yes. So pe o tun le wa. Abi oni boya. O tun le wa. So you can still come back. Oni mon basoro. Bami. Dai jimi. <laughs> My son, welcome. welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Otto. You see, ever since you left, I have always missed you. Day and night, I have prayed to God that I will set my eyes on you. But you are nowhere to be found. I have prayed to God in my heart that God will bring you back home. Don't cry. Welcome back. And stop crying. Come. Don't cry. Come, come. 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 Mommy. It's okay. What did daddy do? Can you remember? Can you still remember? <laughs> Can you still remember? <laughs> I 
Aka de mama deo. Aka de mama deo. Bo mi koko. Bo mi oka kana. Juma ju. Aka de mama deo. Ajaba la jubu. Avo mi yata rufo. Ajaba la jubu. Avo mi yata rufo. Come on, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit. My son is back. <laughs> Hello. 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 Mommy. Ah. Why are you alone here? Ah, who's that for? I see you, Mommy. Ah, well, yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. 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 Ah. Shake on mommy. Mama, so well. Yeah. My son is back home. And I'm happy. What have changed? Jesus changed me. He changed me too. Really? Some preachers came from the city to hold a crusade in this village. And for seven days, we are going to the market square to hear the word of God, to dance, and to sing unto God. During the week, they gave us adult education. But on the fifth day, I met with Jesus Christ. It changed my life. It made me a new being. And ever since then, I have been looking for a way to reconcile with you. Hmm. Bami, I have been running from my past. I have hidden my sins hmm. in the darkest corner of my life. I refuse the light of Christ to shine on it. For as long as I deceived myself, I kept going round the same circle without making any progress in life. <laughs> Until Jesus revealed to me that I had to unlock my closet where I hid my horrible past. <laughs> Well, we thank God. My son is home at last. Yes, I am. Yes, you're back, you're back. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you still remember the song again? Yes, Bobby. Yes. Akade mama deo. Akade mama deo. koko. Bo mi kano. Akande mama deo Ajagbala jubu Afomi atarufo Ajagbala jubu Afomi atarufo You almost forget mommy Still remember it Okay, that's all, that's good, that's right, that's right Baba Where is Labake? Yes, where is Labake? Abake, Abake, Abake is a. Uh, she's dead. Dead. How? Oh. Son, it's ten years now. 
She died during child delivery. It was a baby boy. Your son. What? <laughs> it's my fault. <laughs> Son, we all make mistakes at times. But the most important thing is for us to present our mistakes at the feet of Christ. And that is the best way for a person to have a headway in life. We all make mistakes. Where is the boy? The child? Yes, where is the child? Wait for me. Wait for me, I'm coming. I'm coming. When we could no longer bear the shame and the pain, we handed him over to an orphanage when he was two years old. What's his name? What do you call his name? We call him Emmanuel. Emmanuel! Yes, Emmanuel. What? Emmanuel! Oh no! Emmanuel is in my house! Oh no! Emmanuel is in my house! In your house? Emmanuel! Yes, he's in my house! Emmanuel is in my house! Emmanuel is in my house! Oh no. Why do you hate him so much? I don't hate him. 
I just don't like the idea that he's my son. That's your son, not my son. You said you see much of him in me. What in me do you see in that wretched thing? You don't have a father. I do. How come I've not seen your father before? I've not seen your old father too. Son, please forgive me, my son. You look so much like me, Emmanuel. My son, I love you so much. Emmanuel is my son, Emmanuel. Emmanuel, my son, I love you so much, Emmanuel. Oh, Emmanuel is my son. Oh, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, my son, Emmanuel. Uh, Mr. Jimmy Benro, based on your last presentation, you equated managing a business to managing a home. You further said that um, the level of love you deposit into the home would be commensurate to the level of profit you get out of it. Yes, sir. Good. Now, can I ask you a question? Are you a good home manager? No, sir. No? I used to be a bad father, a bad husband, and a bad home manager until I met with someone who turned my life around and taught me how well to manage a home. And... Who is this someone? Jesus Christ. Hmm. Well, Mr. Jimmy, the work of a public relations manager 
is quite enormous. Your last presentation was a good one. I loved it. <laughs> but I'm afraid. You don't have any experience. You see, whatever we do in this company is in the interest of this company. Based on this fact, this is our decision. Okay, God is going to give you the best job. Hmm? Don't give up. They said to me, Jimmy, the work of a public relation manager is no small deal. Your last presentation was good, but you have no experience. But we have decided that we are going to trust you with the post of a public relation manager. Jimmy! Surprise, sweetheart, I got the job. God has given me a job. God has given me a job. I couldn't just believe I have a father. He speaks to me every day. People are listening, but I do. People are hearing, but I do. Though my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. I've been called many titles. A wretched boy, a sinner, a little orphan. I have journeyed in circles. Like a little piece of nothing in a big ocean Until I discovered the power of love The Lord of creation adopted me He gave me a new home for reason to believe Now on the edge of glory I'm proud to say upon the great of you of you but compassion and mercy is all i see hold my hand and call me your own you said i created in the image of you 